Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Last time, we did pretty much all we can do with Xion's party. Now, we're going to head back to Junior's party. Yay. First things first. I'm getting stuttering for some reason. That's weird. Let's head through here. And we'll blow up this thing and get a rejuvenator. As far as I know, I think that's pretty much all there is in this weird little section. It's not all that big. It contains, I believe, one new enemy total. And that's about it, really. Anyway, I'll fight one of these guys on screen. And the other two we'll take care of off screen. Well, guess I'm gonna get some exercise after all. These guys are very similar to the ones we've already fought with the similar name. Um, since I, uh, Momo doesn't have any better to use, might as well use Floral Tempest. Uh, they are weak to Ether and Spirit, and I guess to an extent Lightning as well, although not too much. Um, they take a lot more damage from normal attacks, so I'm gonna, or from Ether attacks, so I'm gonna show off Moonlit Serenade on him since it's going to do more damage. Hopefully he doesn't counter boost. Yeah, much more damage than you would get from uh, Storm Waltz in this case. And we'll have you finish him off with uh, Lightning Blast there. He's not really the best character to take them down. Uh, the best characters to work on these guys, I believe, are Junior and Chaos, just like with the other ones from before. Guess we'll go and kill a couple of them with Ziggy. Sure, why not? Let's go. Well, good thing he didn't boost until now. And more points for me. You didn't stand a chance. No, they did not. Anyway, I'll take care of the other two uh, off-screen, and I'll see you in a moment. Oh yeah, they do drop medkit DXs, by the way. All right, so with those guys taken care of, there's not too much else we can do in this section of the area here. I don't think we can get through here, can we? No, we can't. Anyway, uh, yeah, just so you can kind of see it, they've already kind of mentioned this, but yeah, Milsha on the sign above Junior's head there. Yeah, that's pretty much where we are. As for the time, I'll leave that for you guys to figure out. They have kind of mentioned it, but uh, or it's implied anyway. Anyway, let's just scoot through here. Now, you want to head over here first. Even though you may or may not think you can get through here. Blow up this, get two biospheres. Blow up this, and if you notice there, there's a red door over there. Yes, this one's kind of important. Let's go get this one. I don't think there's any other items in here, but go in here. If you got uh, decoder 15 from whenever the hell we got it. Then we can pick up the important Angel Ring, which will be very useful for Xion, uh, both for boss fights and normal encounters. And I'm just going to spam the button on the walls there, make sure I'm not missing items. I don't think there's anything else in there, but... And there's two different sets of doorways, so here's a save point. I will come back and meet you there off screen after I'm done playing around over here. But first, let's head down here because there's, I think, at least one item. I'm not sure. I can't remember if there's any more, but there's something to do down here anyway. Multiple items. Blow up that. Nothing in that one. Blow up this one. There we get a veal. Not that I'll be using it, but it's there. And repeat battles. And after that battle, we can blow up this guy here, which contains nothing. Now, if you kind of... no, oh, you can't see it from here. Okay, never mind. I think we can see it maybe from down here. If we head over here... You can see that it looks like there's an item over there, but we can't get there quite yet. We got two medkit DXs for that battle. They will be somewhat useful later. Neuro stem. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need those anymore. Anyway, that's all the stuff over here. I'll meet you back by the save point. Okay, we're back. Now that we have access to the casino, we really don't have a whole lot of need for a huge amount of money. There's still, like, big purchases to make, but uh, I just used some of the coins I got in there to get a whole bunch of biospheres, and those biospheres are going to be how I uh, heal. Well, here's an interesting encounter. We haven't fought them with this party yet, so I will show this again. 
Um, let's see here. This one... They are weak to slash type attacks, but if Momo doesn't critical, she usually can't take them down. So yeah, if she criticals, she takes them down. They're, they are weak to slash. They're also weak to, or weak enough to pierce that Junior can usually kill them. At least if he hits them anyway. But yeah, you're best off using Storm Waltz against them. Did you get them? There we go, and times four, I'll take it. Yeah, so pretty good doing it that way. Um, if you're going to use Ziggy on that fight, you're best off using Cyclone because, again, they're weak to Slash, so... And they still drop those Cobalt Blades, which are decent enough to sell. I can't remember how much they sell for, but... Anyway, let's get that there. Now, there's a few things we can do over on this side. Did I get all the stuff over here first? I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's nothing else over there. Okay, good. Just making sure. Don't want to be forgetting things. There's a lot of really good treasure in this dungeon. Um, yeah, let's go over this way. I think I'm getting ahead of myself again. I think I want to go over this way first. It's the next area where I want to do something different. I guess technically this one's different because it starts off with 150 HP instead of the 50 and 100s that we've seen before. But there's still nothing we can really can't handle with a simple med kit, so. And they don't give nearly enough points to worry about getting them on a specific uh, event slot to get additional points. Now, there's nothing over here except this spot. Now, if you remember, this kind of looks familiar. This is where we saw there's this thing before. Blow this up, and we get a red topaz, which I have probably no interest in using. I will show off what it does here, though. Might as well take a look. Its description is kind of confusing. It gives you the anti-veal support. Now, what that does is it means you take more damage, but you also get healed more. So it's kind of useless. I guess it would be useful to cast on a boss who didn't have... Uh, that specific effect, but it's not really useful as its own spell to use yourself. So I'm not sure why they would have it set up that way, but anyway, there's a couple of enemies over there which we cannot uh, encounter quite yet. We gotta do a little more exploring first. Now here, we haven't fought one of these with this party either. I don't think there's anything down here, sir. No, there's not. Anyway, let's show off one battle with this party. Why are you doing this? And of course, I'm going to get everybody. That works too, especially since it's going to be Junior's turn. In fact, I'm just going to guard. He's in the back, and even though this hits all enemies, since he's in the back, it will not hit him because it's a line type attack. If it was an air type attack, then it would hit everyone, including the guy in the back. Eh, I got two out of the uh, four. Oh well. I guarded with Momo hoping he would critical on, every on everyone, which is why I've given him the uh, battle mask there. Um. Okay, fine then. Ideally, I be would be using um, Cyclone here, but I don't have that set up. Cyclone does, I think, like four or five hundred damage here. It's ridiculous. But he does enough damage with uh, Cyber Kick, assuming he's hit the enemy. Uh, let's just take you down. Uh, I think I need to hit you one more. So I have set Star, yeah, set star Strike to her uh, long range triangle attack on low speed for the specific purpose that she can actually hit all enemies now, and I don't really need Master Caster because I'm not stealing. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much my whole plan there. Uh, best attack to use here should be Moonlit Serenade, if I remember correctly. Because I believe he's weak to spirit. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can also make do if there's multiple enemies and he's on the same row uh, by hitting him with... Yeah, I'm not going to kill him. Uh, by hitting him with uh, Stormwalls. But uh, if 
he's by himself, it's not as economically viable because you know, without hitting the second person, it really doesn't do enough damage. I'm almost decent against this guy. Though it'd be nice if she would have critical, but. Yes, we did, Momo. And we get some more junk. Yay, more junk. Do note, up here, there's going to be a time when we can access that treasure chest. I will come back here to get the item and then go back to where I was when I left to go get it. Because there's a lot of backtracking involved, or at least enough that I want to cut it out. Anyway, if you head up here, even though it makes sense to follow along the path that's laid out for you and not go this path, since that looks like that would be the secret path uh, that leads to treasure, this is actually the path that leads to treasure. Which is kind of annoying. I don't think there's anything down here, is there? Let's take care of this guy off screen. Okay there. Finish off that guy. Now, when we backtrack over here, there's some stairs. Fast forward up the stairs, because the stairs take forever. Nothing over to the right. Run all the way over here. Fight a repeat battle against one of these guys that I'm too lazy to cut out. And I'll even get points on that one. Times four. Whoop -dee. Yay, that was fun. Anyway, I'm going to go back there off screen and then I will meet you down in this. Actually, I'll just meet you down there since it's not that far from where I'm going. There we go, 20-30 seconds of backtracking. We get Venom Block. Now, this is technically a second type of poison. Uh, the way that this uh, one works is uh, that particular status effect... What it, It's kind of weird. After you finish an attack, you will lose 50% of your... I think it's your max HP, or maybe it's your current HP, I don't know. And uh, from there... Uh, you know, I think that's kind of all the status effect does, but it's kind of weird because, you know, you already have a poison effect. Okay, apparently I screwed up somewhere and I didn't put it on. thought I put it on, but I guess I didn't, so... Uh, no, no, I want to set. Instead of Magic Caster, I said I wanted to put Star Cannon on there. I guess I must have been looking at Star Strike instead, which I'll probably never use, so I might as well put Floral Tempest there instead. Uh, yeah, so Star Cannon I put there. Uh, I might as well use her tech points on Star Cannon to reduce the wait time. But that's about it, since she should learn her other one at some point fairly soon, I think. Uh, considering I know he's going to learn something pretty good pretty soon. He hasn't yet, but uh, um, I will save his points, actually, because... I'm going to be spending a lot of them. Actually, I will be spending them on this, since I will be using this in the next boss fight he's in. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Do I need to do anything with you? No, not really. Okay. Enough playing around in the uh, menus. Let's head down here. Kind of looks like this is a side area even now. Uh, but this actually is a main part of the area. And we get to fight these guys again, but again, different parties, so I might as well show them off. This is kind of the main reason why I gave Momo that uh, star cannon, mainly for this fight, because the enemies around here are annoying. These guys do take a decent amount of damage from Pierce, and uh, I think I should be able to one-shot him if I target him. Yeah, well, definitely. may have been able to kill him anyway. But yeah, using Storm Waltz is very effective in this fight. You might be able to kill the second one, too. Oh, I only got the one, huh? Oh, no, I did get both. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah, Momo can't really do anything else, so she might as well have something on there, since the only thing she can hit these guys with are triangle attacks. And chances are she's going to guard at some point during the fight anyway. Speaking of uh, doing other things other than attacking, let's heal up a little bit since I have uh, the opportunity to do so. And... Well, that's all we need. There we go. Pretty much you can only use the uh, attacks that uh, you would expect to be able to use since you can only use triangle attacks, so there's not really a better tech than another one. Uh, I would use Storm, uh, Storm, whatever, Storm Waltz was the word I was looking for. 
There we go. And in this one, we get frame repair A's that I probably won't use. And if you unlock the door from before, we get access to this door here, containing a chest for Decoder 12. Do I have Decoder 12 yet? Yeah, check the segment file. I do not. Opened all the ones we've found so far. We're doing pretty good on our segment addresses. Uh, got a lot of them done by now. Oh yeah, I wanted to check one other thing. Uh, make sure that I set things up properly with Junior. Did I give him? I did not. This is what happens when we play ahead and we forget whether we did things or not. The Double Buster. Oh yeah, the Angel Ring is EP consumption by half, which will be useful in a lot of situations for Xion because a lot of her spells cost too much. But the Double Buster? Yes. Definitely yes. Which will allow him, if he has the uh, AP... No... There we go. If he has the AP for it, he'll be able to hit Storm Waltz twice in a row. And it's awesome. And I believe this is about the end of their section there. Well, okay, we get cutscene, and then it's the end of their section. But what does this cutscene have to say? Man, you've got to be kidding. What's wrong? You take Organization Central Tower. Labyrinthos. So that big tower we saw before. Labyrinthos? It's called Labyrinthos, huh? Hallelujah! And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Good choice of voice, And actor. they were judged every man according to their works. That voice, that's, that's Daddy. Joachim Mizrahi. Daddy! What? Oh, stop. Where are you going? Let me go! Daddy! Daddy's calling for me! Daddy? Is that really him? That's Joachim and Mizrahi. And hell. Oh, into the lake That's your king, Miss Rahi. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Rejoice, all ye! The time for feasting has come. this before me. Is this really Milsha from 14 years ago? Interesting scenery for you. I just kind of let that scene play out for itself. Uh, I couldn't really add much. It was pretty emotional as is. Now, they played a very similar scene to that with the uh, strange movement moving through weird colors in uh, Final Fantasy VIII at one point during the, uh, the game. But uh, other than that, there's not really much I can make reference there. I'm not sure if he, uh, Joachim was speaking uh, from the Bible or what he was uh, talking about, uh, but uh, I'm sure it's in the database, and yes, there's a huge database section that's been updated multiple times since the last time I was there, and uh, well, I'll get into that when we get a good point to. These are basilisks. They use poison. Make sure you're protected against poison before coming here. Uh, if not, you're in a lot of trouble. All right, they are weak to Slash and Lightning, meaning Heaven's Wrath is going to annihilate them, just like the other smaller enemies we've seen before. Oh yes. Just like the Kobolds, they die pretty easily. 
Um, let's go with the Shock Blade here, which is better. They uh, take a little more damage from that than they do from uh, Spell Ray. Only when she criticals, though. Um, otherwise, the damage is different than negligible. I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, that's pretty much all they do. They're not really all that deadly without poison. But yeah, that, they spend pretty much their entire battle casting poison. And doing thunder damage, which, again, doesn't really hurt all... Well, that one wasn't bad, but... Uh, let's take you down. Ready? Heaven's, Wrath. Heaven's Wrath is so good. If you have not learned Heaven's Wrath and you're not using it by the time you get here, you're in for a world of hurt because this area sucks without it. It's the only attack you really have with this party anyway. Ooh, times 10, nice. That can deal a decent amount of damage to those guys. It's the only thing that can one-shot them. And without it, you struggle in this area a lot, and it's just not a lot of fun. Look at all those points. Awesome. Ether pack ass, nice. Okay, so blow up this thingy, and surprisingly, that leads to a tunnel that I can go through, which leads to a useless item containing a PM card. Stupid promotional cards for the game I'm not going to play within the game that I like to play. Anyway, there's another one of those. I'll take care of him in between this time and the next one. But that's all for this one, so I'll see you guys next time.